Hello everyone, praise the Lord. Very good morning. I'm happy that God has brought us together to meditate. This is God today. Hello everyone, praise the Lord. Very good morning. I'm very happy that God has brought us to the last day of this week and He has brought us to the end of this week. So let's give thanks unto Him for He has been with us throughout this week and each and every day. His grace was sufficient for us and His mercy was sufficient for us. May the name of the Lord alone be glorified. And today's meditation is from the book of Acts chapter 26 verse 20. First to those in Damascus, then to those in Jerusalem and in all Judea, and then to the Gen Gentiles. I preach that they should repent and turn to God and demonstrate their repentance by their deeds. So we will meditate on the part today. I preach that they should repent and turn to God. So, Apostle Paul was explaining unto King Agrippa why, what he was doing and why he was doing. And now he is even saying how he was doing and where he was doing. And uh, as, as, as a Jew, he says that, oh, I was announcing among the Jews. Initially, I was preaching among the Jews. And uh, then I, I carried this gospel forward to the Gentiles. I did not leave anybody. I preached this to everyone. And what was that? I preached that they should repent and turn to God. And he says that I was, I was, I was, I was asking everybody to repent and turn to God. My dear brothers and sisters, how wonderfully he says that we should repent and turn to God. It is not that, oh, I have, I have accepted Christ as my Savior. Yes, He is the one who has died for me. He is the one who forgives all our sins. Okay, but repent and turn to God. Don't just stay there. Turn to Him. And He talks about it as an as a inner healing. He says that you, you will have to be healed. You, your soul has to be healed. It, it is diseased with sin. So when you have come to the knowledge of Christ, when you come to Christ, your, your soul has to be healed and you will have to turn to God. My dear brothers and sisters, I want to encourage you that let's not just say with words that, oh, I am saved, I have accepted Christ as my savior, but also show that salvation in our, in our, in our daily life. And it, it has to be seen in our soul. We'll have to turn to God. Our eyes shall be, our eyes shall turn from the world to God. And this is what repentance means. So repent and turn to God. Amen.